what is up you guys it is your boy tundra here the real tundra aka king tundra now in today's video we're going to be talking about screamer sorry i have been gone for a while i know but i am back i had a real bad shoulder little injury going on right there and also i'm deciding on well i can't really decide which video i want to do i can do a video describing the plague heart if you guys would like to hear about that one or i can go into details about what happened in the world of state of decay and how we got to the point where we have gotten to if you guys are interested in that video make sure to drop a like as we do have a like goal of 10 likes hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and let's get into the video but first run that intro All right, you guys, now that we are back, let's talk about one of the most polarizing figures in State of Decay. And you guys might not even realize that he is actually the most dangerous freak of all, special infected, whichever one you want to call him. In fact, we are actually talking about Screamer. But first, let's talk about what Screamer does. And there's probably some things you might not even have known that he does. For instance, Screamer, this guy, if you, let's say you use a bottle of scent block, first of all, if you're playing on Nightmare or Lethal, which I actually play on Lethal, if you guys don't believe me, you guys can join my live stream on Twitch at The Real Tundra, um, but when you are playing anywhere between green to dread, Screamer is not that big of a deal at all he's not he's relatively harmless yes he may you know have a couple of ear shattering screams or glass shattering screams for that matter because let's face it he's near anywhere near glass whether it be your vehicle store that you're trying to get into a home he's shattering those those windows which i actually find to be really really cool but in this case if you are playing anywhere on nightmare or lethal you know he is without a doubt the biggest and you guys like i said you guys don't even realize this but he actually is the biggest threat to you and yes i know in previous videos i said you know we have feral and truth be told feral is a problem i'm not gonna doubt you guys on that one um feral is a problem bloater is annoying juggernaut he's just relatively destructive but no a major major problem is screamer because on lethal and nightmare you have to understand and realize you have multiple groups of you know freaks you have you're gonna come across two or three pharaohs two or three bloaters a juggernaut probably two max but you will always come across a screamer and what i mean by that is the fact that this dude he will blend in with surrounding freaks and hordes you guys don't even realize that when you are attacking these hordes you know screamer he's right around the corner and he is literally waiting to scream to draw in even more and i was recently on a live stream i want to say yesterday or the day before and when i tell you screamer was a big big issue for me because i'm fighting off zombies and i'm not even checking my mini map to see what freaks or special infected or literally in the facility of me and it turns out while you know the person who I'm supposed to be protecting she's getting ambushed and you have screamer sitting over here screaming his butt off alerting all other nearby zombies and it is a huge huge problem and like I said many people don't realize it but he is actually a problem especially on nightmare and lethal he is <laughs> he is a big big problem and another thing that you guys may not have realized that when you're playing on nightmare and lethal zone 
you know when it comes to searching or just trying to avoid the hordes of zombies and other special infected one of the issues is you're gonna need scent block if you don't have scent block you're gonna need it it is the best way to avoid all these zombies however the problem occurs when using scent block again something you don't know is screamer he is not actually oblivious to it believe it or not many people believe that when you are using scent block you can actually avoid all freaks when that's not actually the case sure you can avoid the juggernaut and you can run around the juggernaut you can maneuver around the bloater but two freaks in particular it is a 50 50 chance on it actually working and one being the feral so if you are in fact using scent block and you are around a feral you will notice that the feral will start running around as if you know he's chasing someone which he's not what's actually happening is in fact that the pharaoh himself is actually alerted like his senses is telling him that something isn't right you know that there is actually a non-infected amongst them so he's running around he's running around he's trying to gather who it is that's actually a non-infected but your scent block is actually blocking some of that when it comes to the pharaoh so he's running around in circles just trying to figure out who it is and the reason i say it's 50 50 is because there's a 50 percent chance he is actually going to locate you and the same thing is actually done with the screamer and like i said many people don't believe this because you're not getting close enough but actually again i was literally in a live stream and i've actually noticed this before but when you are using your scent block one thing you will notice is that the screamer he's gonna actually look into your direction and in fact he might actually start walking in your direction and sometimes he will actually scream even though you have used your scent block why it's because the screamer much like the feral who is running around trying to figure out who it is that's not infected the screamer is also going to do that and what i mean by that is that when you use it you will notice him might looking into your direction you might notice it you might not notice it but if you do notice it you will notice that he will actually start walking towards you and again there's a 50 50 percent chance that he will scream he might not scream if he does scream it's probably because you bumped into him or he got close enough to notice that you yourself are not actually infected that you're masking yourself into this and the same thing goes for the feral honestly when i'm using scent block and a feral is near me running around dude my heart sinks because i know firsthand that he's aware that someone in his proximity is not infected and so he's running around running around and if he even slightly touches you that right there literally says to him it's you and now you're being targeted by him and now the other pharaohs are also going to be alerted that you are the non-infected well the same goes for the screamer if the screamer bumps into you even slightly he now knows that it's you because at first like i said it is a 50 50 that he's going to scream and there's you know he might not scream but if he gets close enough he will scream because he has now alerted that you are not infected but you're masking yourself and actually it is only feral in the screamer who does that when you use a scent block before you reach a juggernaut you can literally walk around the juggernaut as long as you do not touch him he does not know it's you you can do the same thing but proceed with caution when it comes to a bloater but yes you can do the same thing with the bloater you can walk around with scent block and he might he would not notice you but if you do that around a pharaoh even if let's say you are 200 yards out and you start to mask yourself and you come across a pharaoh he's he's gonna have that sense that someone in his area isn't affected so he's gonna run around same thing with the screamer you use it He's going to start walking towards you as if you're not even using it. But because he's not fully sure who it is, 
yeah, like I said, 50 50. He might, he might not. But the problem is on Lethal and Nightmare is that, like I said earlier, when you are battling groups or you may just be walking into a house battling, trying to clear out the zombies, he's gonna be somewhere around ready to scream or he probably already screamed and you're just looking around like where the hell did he come from well you know that's the that's the thing about the screamers on lethal and nightmare do they come out of nowhere literally nowhere you can fight one zombie and he's right there you can be in a house scavenging he's right there you can be dealing with the horde he's in the horde along with bloaters or with ferals believe it or not he actually blends in with these things and you don't even notice so if you're fighting a horde he's there you have to deal with the feral he's there any special infected you're dealing with he is right there ready to scream anything you want to do he's right there ready to scream and it's not just one it is multiple it can be anywhere from two to three and if you are very unlucky you might actually come across four i have actually came across four screamers in an area not even joking i've actually come across four screamers in an area but the best way to deal with them is like i said you can use the scent block all you want but in my opinion the best way to deal with them is once you see them or you are battling please check your mini map to make sure he is not within your area because no matter what he is going to be there but always proceed with caution and in fact in my opinion the best way to deal with them is to use a crossbow if you're going to do any mission have a crossbow ready have a very powerful sidearm ready, but in my opinion, use the crossbow. That way, if you do see them, you can take them out without alerting anyone else. All right, that's my, my best option. Now, as I stated earlier, if you guys do want me to drop a video explaining about the play card, or you just want me to drop a video explaining how we got to this point in State of Decay and what happened to state of decay to where we have the zombies we have the blood plague please drop a like as 10 likes is my normal like goal but drop that or also let me know down in the comment section below which one would you like for me to talk about or let me know your opinion on screamer and if you agree with my opinion on screamer down in the comment section below and i want to talk to you all later